Hello and welcome to Rockstar Manager. I'm Dr. K, the management professor, and this episode is about advertising. Let's face it, if you build it, they will come is not a marketing strategy. Before we get started, please subscribe to my channel by hitting the subscribe button down below and also at the notifications button so you'll see each time I post a new video. If you want to celebrate excellent work in your office, check out rockstar-manager.com for various gifts and swag items. Now let's get started. Let's get this out of the way. If you build it, they will come is not a marketing strategy. You can have the most amazing, life-changing product, but if nobody knows about it, nobody will buy it. Advertising is the principal manner in which organizations communicate with customers. You must promote your product or service. Advertising does three things. It makes the customer more aware of the product, it attempts to persuade customers to buy it, and it builds the brand over time. So let's dive a little deeper. Not only does advertising or promotion inform the customer about the product, it should focus on the target market, that demographic of buyers likely to purchase your product. That will create a reliable baseline for you to measure sales. Then it not only ties or not only tries to influence customers to purchase the product, but this gives the company an opportunity to position itself in the marketplace. Think about it. The more times you see an ad, especially if it's unique, the more likely you are to remember it. Think about your typical car dealership. They sell cars like everyone else. However, if there's a catchy jingle, a person that you associate with at the dealership, something special about that dealership that nobody else does, you're more likely to remember it. The more it plays over and over, the more you know it. Another thing to consider when advertising is the relationship between sales and profitability. This can be tricky, especially when campaigns are multifaceted, meaning how do you know which ad campaign works best for you? Is it the blast on social media, TV commercials, radio or newspaper ads? It can be tricky to determine which works best for you, but you can always ask your customers to get a general idea. Additionally, you should see a positive correlation between sales and ad campaigns. That means when you increase your product promotion, sales increase. If you increase your promotion but sales aren't going up, there's a problem somewhere, either with the ads, the technology behind the ads, or you aren't hitting the right target market. So what goals should you create when you set up your marketing campaign? One goal is called AIDA, A-I-D-A, which stands for attention, interest, desire, and action. And that's the process flow. First, get the customer's attention and pique his or her interest. Then, attract him or her to the brand and encourage that action to purchase your product or service. It's that simple. It's not a SMART goal, specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, or time-bound, but it does provide direction. Another way to think about that same goal is through CAB, C-A-B, which is cognition, effect, and behavior. With cognition, you increase awareness and knowledge about the brand. Then effect means that you begin to positively encourage opinions about the product or the brand itself. And lastly, you want to motivate the customer to make the purchase. When developing your product promotional campaign, you also want to ensure that your product goals match your overall corporate objectives. A good way to ensure that you're on the right track is to think about the six M's of advertising, market, mission, message, money, media, and measurement. You wanna be sure you can answer all of these questions. What is the market you wanna address? What is your mission and the objectives of the advertising campaign? What is the message that you want to communicate? How much money do you anticipate spending on this campaign? What media platform choices do you plan to use? And how will you measure your effectiveness of your campaign? Now let's talk about a few different types of ads, specifically cognitive, emotional, image, and endorsements. Cognitive ads are like a logical plea. They make sense and you feel encouraged to purchase the product. 
Emotional ads are often appealing, and for whatever reason, I think about some of the Super Bowl ads played with the, Blood, the Budweiser Clydesdales or some other emotional ad. Emotional ads can be humorous, but there's risk with humorous intent. One, not everyone might get the joke. Then you need to consider how much attention or thought you need to give to get it. And then oftentimes, if the joke is remembered, the brand isn't. Emotional ads can also evoke fear and embarrassment. Think about how creative you could be if you were tasked to making a commercial for a mouthwash or deodorant. Image ads are another type of ad capitalizing on the old monkey see, monkey do mentality. If you use this product, you can look like this or have this kind of lifestyle. Here, image ads are very closely tied to branding. The advantage that the image ads have is that most people are visual and can see the impact that the product or service has and the results that it delivers. The last type of ads are the ad endorsements. They usually exemplify a celebrity or recognizable person that you can already relate to and you feel like you know them. Celebrity endorsed products draw a crowd. Think about the NFL. In the last however many years, a lot of the NFL players had domestic violence disputes and even arrests. And there were so many that the NFL's image and reputation was impacted. As a result, they created commercials to counter what was actually happening outside the football field. Then they dealt with players kneeling for the national anthem and once again, to save face, they created a number of initiatives to support military veterans. Now that Travis Kelsey is dating Taylor Swift, her fan base alone changed the target market of the Super Bowl 58 commercials. Advertisers paid $7 million to gear their commercials towards a younger female audience unique to the NFL. Celebrities can have an impact on product and in return, sales. Hopefully you have a better understanding of the different types of promotions and advertising in the marketplace. If you're interested in learning more about related topics, you can read Cengage's Marketing Management 5th Edition, or find my books, Rockstar Manager from Theory to Practice, Mindset, a research-based approach to understanding motivation, or Be Your Best You, the ultimate research-based guide to outstanding leadership. They can be purchased on Amazon and at most major retailers. Thank you for your time. Be your best you and be a rock star manager.